Indeed, 85 minutes on the other side of the one. As we bless the Lord this evening, thanking Him for another opportunity in the land of the living. It's definitely a pleasure to come before you guys, as I told you before. We have a young lady in the studio, and she has a brand new book that's well, well, it's her first book that she has written, and she's here to talk to you about her book. And it's, it's a great when the children of God is doing exploits for the kingdom lifting up Jesus in whatever talents and gifts that he has given us. So we're going to welcome Miss Doen Dennis in the studio after this year, the song that is power in the name of Jesus. Good evening to you. How are you doing? I am great. Awesome. You're great. Awesome. Which one? Great and awesome or great? Both, awesome. Both. Two. That's a new word. <laughs> great and awesome. Praise God. Amen. Yes. So it's a definitely a pleasure to have you and you have a, you. A, a book that you have written and I was very, very, very impressed with the title of the book, Amen. as I said before, because, um, and I'm saying it because sometimes you look at, um, we look at us yes. as a people, as a group or a sector of society in a certain caliber then. And so when you hear a title like, what is faith in God? You're not, it's like you're not expecting it from I don't even I just know what I mean I, understand. I don't know if you understand I what understand I'm saying you. Amen. I understand so you. what is faith in God you know sometimes people say well okay if you if, if there's a title like this you're looking for some big name of somebody that you know all day a, a big preacher a big right. church a big mm -hmm. because what is faith in God that's like like wow you, you know what I mean I but yes amen <laughs> so how did you come up with the title what what is faith in God well from struggling with um, having doubts at the same time having faith and trusting God and seeing God come through for you so many times you find out that you're struggling with doubt or you're wondering why and I said to God you know why am I having this struggle why am I having such um, a hard time having faith in you when you've come through for me so many times and um, this inspired me to be to start writing down and taking notes and God inspired me to write this book and I started to, to, to think about the topic and the chapters and the title of the book and I said okay I'm writing about faith but God what is faith really what what is faith in you really about and I said God you need to give me the proper and right title for this book and I just heard what is faith in God and that's how I said okay this is what is gonna be the title of the book what of is faith book. in God yes so would you say um, the question of what is faith in God is, it came about because you seen God mm -hmm. then still have to question God on the other side of something else you see him come through here yes but when you have to go to another hurdle Yes. You then you still have a problem to find out how could I trust yes. God over there? I right. trust him here. Mm -hmm. He came to here. Even if I didn't really trust him 100% here, but he came to here. Mm -hmm. How could I trust him over there? Yes, it's like having faith to have that greater faith in God. So that's what, you know, came to my mind. It's it's growing in faith and, you know, reaching that higher level in faith. Mm -hmm. You know, from the mustard seed to you know the mango seed, the mango I, I, seed. I, I, read it, I read it i read it i read it don't don't preach, you know, okay. i read it i read it i read it yes so to, to, so uh, so would you say uh, from after you have had so many encounters and different things do you do do you believe in 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 that the principalities and powers that is involved in our walk with god is always raising the bar higher higher definitely definitely mm -hmm. you 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 have faith here and they see that you you believe in god you trust god at this point are the early stages of your salvation and then when you're growing in god and you're seeing god come through for you you know when you fast and you pray you see god come come through for you so easily and immediately then it's like they start to put on the pressure and god allows this to test you to increase your faith in him so it's all about God working in you and, and, and grow, wow. you know, allowing you to grow. And Amen. Mm -hmm. What is faith? The book is called What is Faith in God? And we're just rolling, you know, we're just going out with it as, as the Spirit lead right now, speaking about the book. So now, um, is right, was writing always something in your 
Yes, yeah. I always wrote and made notes and, you know, growing up I was a little bit of a loner. I didn't really have much friends. I had like one or two. And um, my mother didn't really let me go certain places. So I was, you know, normally either going to church or staying home. So I had a lot of time to think and wonder about life. And, you know, I'll just write down things and make notes and stuff. So I'm always writing. Okay, so so it was writing was something because I, I sometimes you hear people say, well, I, I was, I, I did, it was not something, not something that I already had inside mm -hmm. as I wanted to do, but no. I had the talent to do it. Mm -hmm. I knew I, I didn't had. even know. Mm -hmm. No, it's like God brought it out because of my struggles and my, you know, my confrontations. So mm -hmm. I just develop, develop. Well, it was always there, but <laughs> you're right, 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 right. You know, it was a lot for writing. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. So the book is called "What Is Faith in God." And so, so before you get into a little deeper in the book itself, right. give us a little of your your history coming into Christ as a young woman, and mm -hmm. you know, coming into the things of God, and give us a little of your background, background, being born again, receiving Jesus, knowing that you're born again, and whatever it is that you want to share. Well, what just came to mind is um, I was always in church, brought up in church, born to Christian parents. And growing up, my mother is always praying, and you know, always admired, you know, her praying spirit. And <laughs> I was wondering, you know, why she would be praying, and she 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 cry a lot when she pray. And I wonder, you know, why is all this crying? This crying associated with praying? But you know, it's just you know, she, when you're crying and pouring out your heart to the Lord, I guess you know you get a little emotional. But anyways, I admire that, and I um, took that from her. And growing up, my mother used to always take us to church, whether we want to go or not, we had to go. And through going through school and facing my own little challenges as a little girl, I would pray and see God come through for me. Even just, you know, every day asking my father for a bicycle and every day that he keeps saying, yes, I'm going to get you the bicycle. Yes, I'm going to get you the bicycle. And it just never happened and then he said you know what i'm gonna just pray and i prayed and in like in less than two weeks daddy says okay come let's go get your bicycle you know <laughs> so it was just those little things growing up but you know after that you strayed a little bit and you found yourself you know doing things that you were not supposed to do or getting involved with certain company and then i remember i was at this this party and i was there with friends and um, they were having fun, they were drinking and dancing, and I, I just found myself standing up, and I heard a voice said, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. And from that day, I've never been back to a party or a club or anything like that. That was like it, and I was like 18. Mm -hmm. at that time and that and and from that point i started to see the lord more about you know who he really is and <laughs> <laughs> and what this christian life is all about because right. you were born into it mm -hmm. you know so i started to do my own research and reading the scriptures and stuff like that mm -hmm. so so in 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 your born again experience by by going in church growing up in church that you were serious about it in terms of that you respected God yes and so you walked into it and what would you say or when would you say that you realized that Christ was really in you is from that party right yes when I heard the voice that said what are you doing here you don't belong here that's it and I'm, I was like wow it, is that me talking to myself or but from that point I just didn't feel comfortable I didn't want to be a part of that anymore and I, and I haven't been back it, it, there's you know so so friends were inviting you to parties or you wanted to go to parties friends were inviting me and even family members were, that weren't saved were, were inviting mm -hmm. me and taking me with them you know at it, that point it wasn't your desire really no no right right no, right no, no, no. it was <coughs> you know sorry the, the wrong influence it wasn't like I'm looking at it or hearing it and saying, okay, I want to be a part. It was, you know, the influence around me at that time. Amen, mm -hmm. amen. The voice that you said that sp spoke to you about it, let people understand what that voice sounds like because a lot of people might feel they're not hearing from God it's and God is talking very, so loud. It's, it, well, it's a soft voice. It's not a hard, aggressive voice. It's that 
soft voice. You have to be really quiet to hear it. And I was, I was just standing up, looking around, everybody dancing, having a good time, or so they think. And I just hear the voice say that to me. Right, but, but you mentioned something about your, your subconscious and you'll find out like if it was you hearing yourself or you talking to yourself because God is a mm -hmm, spirit mm -hmm. and he speaks from within us. Yes, he speaks And he speaks through different elements. Yes, but so I So somebody heard, might mm -hmm. be hearing it and not thinking they're hearing it. They're thinking it's them that thinking about it, but God walks like that also. Yes, he, he does. He through your spirit. Spe yes, through your thoughts. Yes, mm -hmm. he does. Mm -hmm. You just have to know what you want, what you really desire. And God will put that desire in you too. So when you hear this, you, you will begin to think about what you're hearing. And if it's something that you know you shouldn't be involved in, then you're going to know that this voice has to be uh, God's voice, God talking to your righteous voice. It's a knowing tool, you know? It comes with a knowing. It grips your soul. And you know that this is God talking to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's like he makes you know it's him. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hallelujah. In the, in, in, the, in the thought process, you know that it's God. You know it's God. Period. Yes. And you just know it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because that thought is not going to be a negative thought. No, Towards it's not. anything else, it's going to be positive towards the things of God. Positive, yes. Towards the things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we're talking about the book, What is Faith in God? And I must say that I... I, I I was very impressed with, with, with the reading and not because you're in the studio mm -hmm, and not because mm -hmm. I'm talking to you. I'm yeah, a Christian. Yes, yes. I want to be honest and yes. opinion. I mean, straightforward as I could be. I mean, realistic. And I was very, very moved about it in terms of how it makes you evaluate what you say you have about God or right. how do you say you trust God mm -hmm. because the, the different elements that you brought up in the book is I mean it's everyday simple things simple. but they are really really profound mm -hmm. in terms of really and truly if you have faith in God for true yes yes it proves if you have faith if you in God <laughs> <laughs> all glory to God all God is good God, God inspired me all the way there were days when I would sit in the, on the computer and I'm typing and I stop and I say, you know what, this is me. This, this right here is coming from me. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to pray and say, God, I'm going to write what you're going to tell me now to write. This is not going to be coming from my flesh. And I delete everything and I start to hear and get the scriptures, get the Bible and start to write something completely different. And that's when it keeps flowing. You can know when it's not you writing it, you know. Because mm -hmm. it keeps flowing and flowing and the scriptures are coming to, you know, for the references and to back up whatever you're hearing. But when you're, you're writing from, you know, from yourself, you write, you stop, you're thinking what to write next. You know, it's not coming like that. So it was Hallelujah. just, it was just, uh, you know, that, this reference that you're giving in terms of, it's a normal everyday thing that we have to believe and understand. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. And, and principalities will try yes. to get you to do something that the world will accept it. Oh, right, it's right, going to be right. popular. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's going to nice. That's mm -hmm. going to great. Mm -hmm. But it's not really God. Right, right, right. right, that, right. I mean, that's something really serious you say. Yes, yes, yes. And you were willing to delete, delete it because you realized it. it was more motivated by flesh. Flesh. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible speaks about something where they lay on their bed and they devise divination, uh, divination. wicked stuff. Yes, like they, they yes. lay on their bed and they ponder, I think, who I should. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they think and things it, up and then the day they, they perform it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? It's a dangerous thing. So the point yes. is that the Bible said, if you submit to God, yes. you resist the devil. Yes. He's going to flee because flee he's the, the, the mm -hmm. prince of the power of the air. Yes, yes, yes. So is. the ideas that you hear from the air mm -hmm. is not really coming from it's the not, spirit. It's not, it's not. You have to My be goodness. careful. So. so right now you say you're ready for, for you, you, you could say right now you're ready for, for it now because you have written a book. What is faith in God? It means that you have, you have some answers. Yes, I've definitely. I've overcome intimidation, anxiety, being afraid, being shy. You read that part? You're not shy right now? Nope. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. Amen, I am not amen, shy. amen, amen. Praise God. I'll pray, pray, to God for that. Yes. Amen. I thank Him so much because it was a struggle. It was a real I call it like it was some type of sickness, a disease or something. Well, being scared. Being, yeah, I'm being shy. It was terrible. You know, I would get, you know, sweaty palms, shaking, intense, this shaking, and 
being nervous. It's, it's, it's not of God. God says that he did not give you fear. He gives you power, power. Love, love, a sound mind. Praise God. There's nothing. When, when the angel of God or when Jesus comes, he said, fear not. Fear not. There's nothing to be afraid about. Fear is from the devil. Period. 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 Anytime you feel fear, it's not God. You're not, you only fear God and that fear is a reverential prayer. You know what I mean? Knowing that you don't <laughs> want to disappoint him. That's all right, it is. Right. Yes, you yes. just want to give him glory, do what he says, be obedient, and, and love him with all your heart. Hallelujah. All your heart, mind, soul, spirit. Mind and soul. Mm -hmm. the, the way you speak about faith versus doubt, Give us a reference of the. Uh, that was just, a poem. That was a poem. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. What I, what I, I mean, give us a little bit of that in terms of the, the concept of coming up with that faith versus doubt. Because it's a battle. It's a battle in the mind. You know, when God places you in front of Red Sea situations, do you believe in yourself? Do you believe in God? Or do you listen to the voice of doubt that says, God can't do it? You don't have the faith to do it. So this was a struggle right here when I was writing this poem. Could you read it? Faith versus doubt. The maybes, the I don't knows, followed by a perhaps and a probably so. Could it be? Have I the strength? I am what God says I am, but do I believe it? Believe it I must and hope to see it I trust. Voices and whispers come and go, but with wisdom and patience I grow. Intimidation invited uncertainty. With my nerves crashing, I refuse to despair. No more I can't or it's possible. No more what ifs or excuses innumerable. It's right now, not later or maybe tomorrow. Instead I will, I must and I am able. To reach for it, learn it, take it, make it, and share it. I have what it takes to create it. I have faith. Hallelujah. Praise amen. God. Amen. Praise amen. God. Amen. <laughs> amen indeed. So I'm, I'm def I really and truly appreciate this book. And I'll tell you, I look at it and I mean, I, I should not think like that. <laughs> but I just thought we're looking at you and, and, and just thinking it's a real big topic to even put God on it like that. And what is faith in God? I thought that was bold. That was like, Praise wow, God. my Glory goodness. God. What is faith in God? That, <laughs> I mean, imagine if, if, you, if you're wrong to even consider. I'm not wrong. No, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm being sarcastic in some I understand. Yes, I understand. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because that's, that is why, you know, we as believers in Christ, we have to know who we are. Yes, yes, We yes, have to know yes. who we are in Christ. You can sit yes. there and say, well, I'm not, I, I don't know this. And I, you mm -hmm. know what you know. You, you know by know. the word of God. Right, right. You know, right. a young lady was telling me there's, um, with all these prophets going around and some lady bring her deed for her house to him, for she to get a word from him and she bring her deed to sign over her house to him hmm. and stuff like that. I'm thinking, well, where in the Bible do you see anything like, like this? That. I mean, come on. No, no, I don't no. care how educated this person is. Tell them, where is in the Bible? Exactly. Where is the reference of that in the Bible? You exactly. know, and sometimes we sit down there and we acting like, we, like God is a liar. Exactly. The word of, the God, word of is, God is, there is, is what proof. God is saying. Mm -hmm. yes. Hallelujah. And once Praise you cannot God. prove what you're talking about in the word of God, then it's wrong. I'm not going to follow you. I'm not going to believe no, you. No, 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 no. So this book. Clear instructions. This book here, what is faith in God? How can people get this book and, and what is your projection for this book? What are you looking to come out of this book? How do you want this book to impact people? What do you, what, what? Well, I want it to impact them like it impacted me. Because and, me. <laughs> and yes, you. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> because even when I was writing this book, right? There were, I was struggling when I was writing this book. A lot of things happened to me while writing this book, and I believe it happened for me to not write it. But it was while rereading what, what, what God told me to write, I'm reading the book and I'm saying, wait a minute, is it me that's writing this book? Because this book is helping me right now. <laughs> to you have know, the same faith. Yeah, to have the same, to continue to have mm -hmm. the same faith. 
you know, and not waver. And I'm reading and I'm rereading, you know, and I'm saying, wait a minute, I know that this book is going to help somebody to overcome doubt, intimidation, shyness, anxiety, and any type of fear. Because fear comes in so many ways. Your mother can be a greatest intimidator, your husband, your wife, a friend, your business, anything. That doubt and faith can take the form of anything. And you can be even afraid to face your own self. You understand? Because wow. <laughs> you know, wow. you're, you're traumatized by your past. You, you, you don't want to face the past. You don't want to face yourself. You don't want to face your own fears. And your future. And your future. Because of past failures. Right. Hallelujah. So this book would help you to face your fears and overcome them. And have that greater faith that you need to overcome Hallelujah. it. Because you can have faith here. But to overcome this mountain or Goliath or whatever it is, you're going to need more faith to overcome it. Hallelujah. And I, I, I totally believe that it's what it, it projected to me. Because looking at it, I, I, after you get up from it, you just realize that, man, you know, you, 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 you got to just be what they say yes and, yes, and follow yes. what they say i've yeah. been i've been i've been there so many times <laughs> <laughs> i've been there so amen, many amen. Times. and as you were saying in writing the book you saw areas where you know the devil was trying to stop you mm -hmm. to if, abort this plan yes don't if, write this oh lord even the editing when the when the editor was supposed to come and you know finish up with the editing somebody died he had to go give support he couldn't meet with me i was sitting there waiting another time his phone fell in the water he couldn't come to meet with me it was just you know this book was edited by faith published by faith everything about this book is by faith i didn't pay no money to edit it was given to me just he blessed me and a friend of mine she you know she um paid for it i didn't have any money i wasn't working still not working but I, I had faith. I had to publish this book by faith for it to be effective. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. <laughs> hey, you out there in Radio Land, if you're listening, you have a question you want to ask the young lady. I'm here speaking with Ms. Zoan Dennis, and she has a book that she has written called What is Faith in God? And as a believer in Christ, I really, I was shocked at the title coming from her. That's, I mean, I'm being honest. I'm serious. Thank you. When I saw the title, you know, they, it's Sometimes we have, a tendency, we, have a, we have a tendency to feel well or to look at us in a, in a certain, at a certain length, a wavelength and feel well. Well, if it's about something else, I can believe mm -hmm. you write it. Yes. But this, I cannot see you writing this, if you understand what I'm saying. I'm glad that you said that because it's not me. It's Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. Amen. All glory to God. It's Hallelujah. not me. And I'm glad I went through what I went through with this book because I know for myself, because I could be here being a hypocrite and taking the glory and then, <laughs> you know, that's going to be it for me. <laughs> amen, amen. But I'm here to give God glory because he made me go through all of these things that I've written about. And he made me go through the process of getting it out there by faith to come and talk about it by faith. I'm doing this by faith right now. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the God. The number is 347-663-8638. If you want to make a comment or you want to ask the young lady a question, feel free to do that as we're talking about what is faith in God. You know what I mean? By Zoan Dennis. And it's a, it's a nice, nice little read. And I, I think it's like, you know, the more we, we, we get into things like this, is the more it stabilizes us yes. to the truth of God and what God wants us to be as children who, you know, walk by faith and not by sight. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. Hallelujah. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. If you're already in Radio Land, you have a question you want to ask the young lady or something like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Feel free to do that. I'm going to play this song in the background. We're going to come back and we're going to wrap up and give us information where we can find this book, yes. right? Yes. Amen. Yeah. 
indeed. Uh, 23 minutes on the other side of the one. Uh, choice with you, your life, your salvation, your choice. And we are speaking about what is faith in God. Uh, written by Bizzoan Dennis. I think it's a beautiful read. And I'm not saying that just because I have the pleasure to meet her and thing. And uh, really and truly, I think it's a very strong encouragement for young people in Christ. And, you know, that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Um, in terms of you as a believer in Christ and looking at the world right now and the projection of the, the, the Bible and the gospel and the church. <laughs> you know, the Bible says in the last days, many shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirit, doctrines of devils, whatever. How do you see the, the church right now, the strength of, uh, just give me a whole, as to you as a young person coming up, seeing church, being in church, and now at your age, this time, mm -hmm. how do you see the, 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 the church transforming right now? Well, um, the, the strength of the church is prayer. So if you are a part of a church and they don't have a strong praying ministry and, and deliverance ministry, then I, I don't think that's the church for you because the, 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 the church now, they're, they're preaching about different things. They're hardly preaching about, you know, bapt baptism and, and, and repentance and they're preaching different things that not really reaching your soul and giving you the information that you need to be born again so if you're if you're not being told how to be born again to maintain your deliverance after you've been delivered and keeping you keeping you in line with the word of god and praying always praying the bible says pray without season that is a real statement that's not oh i'm gonna pray before i eat or prefer I go to bed or I pray when I wake up. Always praying it in the car driving, you're on the bus, train, you're praying in your spirit, you're singing. That's how you're going to really keep your salvation. It's not about the church because we, the body of Christ, makes up the church. The church is all over. When, when church is finished, the church spreads out and we go to our homes and whatever and we come back to fellowship. But when you're out there, you need to maintain you know, the church the church your yeah. church yeah you maintain your deliverance by always praying always you have to fast every week if it's even one day fast and pray that's how you feed the, the the spirit man praise god so that's what you have to do as the church you can't be thinking that oh i'm gonna go to church and that's how i'm gonna maintain my relationship with christ so that's the bottom line right there maintaining your um your life, your relationship with Christ by always praying, praying without ceasing, reading his word, feeding your spirit, meditating on his word night and day, and maintaining your deliverance. Because you can come to God, accept God, through his son Jesus Christ, get delivered today. But if you don't have training how to maintain it, mm -hmm. those spirits are coming right back. Yeah, hallelujah. And, Praise God. <laughs> and I've been speaking about the unclean spirit recently. And mm -hmm. I think people are really taking this thing as a lightly. Mm -hmm. The Bible said when the unclean spirit comes out of a man, mm -hmm. he goes around, skin dry, resting, crying down. He come back with seven more seven spirits, more. stronger than himself. And this time is worse than the, yes, the last time. The last now day. there are many people who came to Christ, went back out in the world and every day you tell them about God they say oh yeah 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 I know I'm coming I'm coming but they're not coming they're back they're not coming back because why the unclean spirit will not have you come back in no. the presence of God anymore no. and there are people in the church that is just not functioning no they will hate in the church mm -hmm. and they keep going on week after week month after month and they think it's a joke it's not yeah, a joke not the a joke. unclean spirit is inside of you yes. and if you cannot function as a real child of God something is wrong with you if you die in that condition you're gonna go to you're hell you're gonna go to hell because you're not delivered. You're not delivered. You must it's be like delivered. It's like they come back and they capture you again. And they capture you stronger than before. Stronger, and yes. especially if we're not praying and mm -hmm. people cannot see the spirit in you to cast it out. Right. Because you already think you're a Christian, so you're not thinking about casting out. No. You're only thinking about casting out for those who are in the street, in the street. to come to the church. Mm -hmm. But you're not thinking about people who is in the church that need to be delivered. Yes. That they can operate as true people in the yes. church. Mm -hmm. You know, and many times people are so offended because you're talking about this stuff. But it's really what it is. If you are born again, you have to operate as being born, born again. Born again. You can operate as you. You're born again, but every week is something, some confusion with somebody else, some fighting down here, some fighting down here. For one month, you're, you're talking to this person in the church. 
how could you be a Christian? You're not a Christian. No, you're not. No, you're, you're not. You're not walking according <laughs> to the to the word of God. Hallelujah. Come on, little to the mic. Yeah. Amen. So I I, I, I I just ask you that as a you know as a believer and I'm very excited about the book and I wish that especially young people, young believers in Christ should pick this book up and get it, read it, and everybody out there in Radio Land, get this book, <laughs> read it. I was very impressed with it and you know, you're a humble person and you straightforward and you spoke a lot of stuff. You were not trying to, you know, no. puff up yourself. Mm -hmm. You were just telling me exactly you were going through this stuff. Right now you say you're still not even working right no, now. No. But you continue to serve the Lord and this And book, he provides. He, he provides. provides. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So how can people find this book? Give us the information. They can get it on Amazon.com. It's on the website at Amazon and BarnesandNoble.com. The website is mm -hmm. not at the In store, the store right. but it's on the Barnes and Noble website and on amazon.com and they could get it from me right they could call me at 347-570-3272 they can email me at zealous underscore zo 82 at yahoo.com that's z-e-a-l-o-u-s underscore z-o-e 82 at yahoo.com hallelujah so are you planning any book signing or any place to speak about the book and I, then have it available or anything any I, um, coming up I'm, I'm waiting our responses i'm waiting our responses right now let's take a phone caller is calling in the segment i guess they hope they call about the book caller grace and peace yes grace and peace hi sister dennis how are you hi i'm fine how are Great. you i am i'm just excited kids i can't wait to get the book to <laughs> read <gasps> Great, awesome. That's I am great. so looking forward to it. Right now, I'm getting chills over my body. Oh, and I, you know, God. you doing this is God getting the glory. Yes. And the for glory. listeners to be encouraged that God does work in us when yes. you allow Him yes. to work in us. Yes. He does work and He must get the glory. He must. Praise and God. And I pray that God will continue to pour into you. Hallelujah. And as He pour into you, you pour out to us so we can receive it. Yes. Praise and God. And I thank you. And I thank Minister Stricker for having you on. Thank you so much. And I love Hallelujah. you, my sister. And I can't wait to get the book. Praise I, God. You just you. mentioned um, Amazon, so I'll go there yes. and I'll, I'll purchase it. Yes, it's there. Right. Thank sure, you so like much. Minister Stricker it's a good read. I, it is. I yes, believe it. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I know uh, that when you said that, when you started to write, and you realized that it was you, which is the flesh, right. you stopped. Yes. And that's being obedient to the yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. And as believers, it is, obedience is so important. Important, yes. Because then it's the spirit that is at work. Yes. It's not flesh. And once you, you be obedient and submit to the spirit, you cannot go wrong. No. It's when you start to go into the flesh, when the flesh takes over. Mm hmm then that's it. Yes, that's Chaos it. Chaos and everything. Nothing works. Nothing. You're right. But You're I, so I right. thank you. May God continue to bless you, my dear. Of course, thank you're already you. blessed. You're thank a you. By God. Thank you. Amen. God bless you Amen. too. Thanks. I love you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Take Amen. care. Amen. You too. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye-bye. Power in the name of Jesus. Wow. Praise what God. is faith in God? I mean, I was... I was very impressed with this book and we want to wish you all the best Thank on Choice you. Radio with this endeavor. And keep the spirit, keep that mute, that little spirit there that God has in you and, and let's be humble to do the will of the God and, and, and that's really what it's all about. As believers, we want to be as children of the King. Yes. Not yes. of religion, not of denomination, no. not of tradition, not of church. We want to be the children of God. God yes. Children of light. Yes. Walking in the light in the of light. our Father. Yes. Amen? Walking by faith by and faith. not by sight. Not by sight. Because <laughs> everything else is sight. You know yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want you to pray us out of this segment and we just thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you so much, Lord, for this atmosphere, for the opportunity to glorify your name and give you praise father god i love you i worship you i thank you for everyone that's listening right now i pray dear god that you will bless them lord jesus whatever it is lord god that they may need lord god meet that need right now in the mighty name of jesus christ god as i give you the glory as i give you the praise lord god i know dear god that you will hear and you will provide whatever it is that we may need lord jesus christ whether it be immediately or in time lord god because everything lord god with you is a time and an appointment so god right now i just want to give you thanks and praise for giving us the patience to wait on you and to trust you that you know 
everything, Lord God, and you are in control of every aspect of our lives and we give over our, our life to you or our will we know lord that you will provide you will come through you will make th those ends meet praise god so right now I just want to thank you for what you're doing in our lives lord god and continue lord god to increase our faith in you lord because when we have faith we please you you are then delighted praise god and then that's when you will grant unto us our heart's desire so right now in jesus name lord i thank you for the increased faith in jesus his name amen amen and amen hallelujah miss is zo and z z o e h a n n z o z z o e h so, you know some people go looking for the spelling the name wrong mm -hmm. and i'm saying you know so they should look for what is faith in god what is faith in god that should be an easier way to, to find it yes they can yes it's there but Hallelujah. once you type it in it's there if you type in the author's name too it's gonna yes the one the one dennis yes. hallelujah so we thank you for coming thank i really appreciate me. it and i want to encourage you as a young lady in the faith i want to encourage you because you encouraged me by writing this and praise we god. all have to stand on the word of god hallelujah praise he god, said yes. he will never leave us now for sake no. we have to believe it believe he's with us regardless yes. to what it is yes hallelujah regardless. speak life speak, speak life. the truth of god yes hallelujah speak Bless what his you want to see according to his will and he will bring it to pass in the name of jesus faith. yes in hey, jesus man, you want to say hi to anybody out there your mother your father somebody i don't know i mean eh? um mm -hmm. hi mommy daddy <laughs> um brother d my father mr dennis i love you janelle dennis my brother leonardo dennis my mother and <laughs> angela hey. dennis hey. The, the book editor i love you my pastor pastor mattis everybody at christ anchor church God loves you. I love you too. And in the name um, of stay Jesus. in faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Power in the name of Jesus. So be blessed of the Lord and we continue to share the good news about this. What is faith in God? Amen. Thank you so much. Praise God.